Right. But it's, it's extremely important. And the X girls are back. Minute by minute. And they've got the hats. To dictate, Ray, the key to boxing is from Fox every Sports second, Net. Every, minute, uh, every round. And finding a way to do that. Let's talk about the 10 point must system that we're scoring the fight on, Otis. We didn't get a chance earlier. Our thanks to Denny Hecker for sponsoring our bouts Correct tonight. Denny I'm Hecker's wrong. Auto Connection. Every round Denny is Hecker's broken down Automotive to score Credit each Superstore. Round. You, after each Denny round, Hecker's you, you, Rosedale Dodge and Hyundai. The winner of the round Denny Hecker's Invergrove Hyundai. Loser generally. Denny Hecker's nine, Southview. Um, defense. A lot of things, Ray. So punch stat isn't always true. Punch stat isn't always true, but it's, obviously it's a the, person, the person that usually lands the cleanest punches and controls the, the pace of the round is usually the one who wins the round. But it isn't uh, a gospel. It could be a... Banda throwing some big bombs. Looking for the home run now. Big shots there. Hober Gibbons getting himself into a street fight. And Ronnie Stander warning Gibbons for fouls. And you know, I mean, Gibbons has had a reputation of, you know, not being the, the, the cleanest fighter. You know, but you know, more than anything, he's a pesty, he's a pesty fighter, you know what I mean? Well, he knows he's, he's in the house that Matt Vanda owns. He knows that Mad Band is beating him. He can feel that. He can sense that. And he's going to have to do something deviant, something uh, tricky to get Vanda off of his game plan. And he's trying his best. He is trying his best. And pushing those rules right Let's up the very limit. nice. He just, you know, he's a vet. He, he throws some nice shots. Vanda throwing some good shots as well. Gibbons landing some nice uppercuts. Vanda taking a little breathing room. Vanda can fight very well from the from long range or short range. Exactly. And you know, and right now Matt needs to, you know, he needs to get himself a little space out this guy. He needs to find a way to get to this guy's body. And as you can see, you know, Gibbons, Homer Gibbons has his trunks pulled up pretty high, Ray. <laughs> One more veteran trick there. I mean, you know, the guy, I mean, you can't even see his navel. One more veteran trick. And another learning lesson for Matt Banda. Ooh, belt line shots. Gibbons landing some shots on the belt in, uh, in an apparent response to one of Matt Banda's belt line trunks that you were warning about his, his uh, trunks are so high that, uh, well, that's, you know, that's a venture trick. You know, if the, if the referee, if the referee's not gonna be able to see it. Now that was a low shot to the hip. There you go. Ronnie Stander warning him. Look at, look at, did you see Homer, who, me? Yeah. What, me? You know? Well, Matt's, like, doing, Matt's doing a good job. He's not really getting caught goal. up into it. He's trying to take advantage of the situation. Fans are pretty worked up right now. They want to see uh, Homer Gibbons lose some points. And we'd like to say a very special happy birthday to Tim Garrity, the nephew and godson to Fred Makalas of Fred's Tires. Tim is 35 years old on the 20th of January. His favorites are boxing and wrestling. He's from Oakdale, Minnesota, and we want to make sure that he stops by the Burnett Boxing Gym and to get a T-shirt signed by Matt Vanda and the Burnett Boxing Boys. So again, happy birthday to Tim Garrity. I'll tell you what, Ray, this fight is five years by old. Coming up into the seventh round already. Very, very good fight to this point. Um, you know, Matt's doing enough to control the round. Round Absolutely. seven. I notice you're keeping score, uh, Ray. What do you got on your unofficial score? I have Matt Vanda winning every round by 10 to 9 score point, uh, Otis. And I'm sure the referees are, are calling it a shutout as well. Homer Gibbons is fighting well enough tonight to beat a lot of fighters. He's not fighting good enough to beat Matt Vanda. I agree. All right, you know, I... 
I definitely agree. I, you know, I think Matt's out there. He's doing what he has to do. He's keeping a veteran on the outside. He's pounding him when he gets a chance. And again, I hate to repeat myself, Otis, but I think it's got to be awful hard when you're in, 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 in the house with so many friends and family, and, and, and he's got this personal attachment, Matt does, to the St. Paul crowd. And they're screaming. They want blood. They want a knockout. It, it's got to be very, very hard for him to keep his cool out there. Uh, to not go wild and throw 80 punches and take chances. And I really admire him for that. That, that, that shows a lot of finesse, a lot of... Uh, a, a lot of... Uh, it's a tough thing to do, right? A lot I mean, of experience at a young age. See, that, you know, that's the thing. I think, you know, right now, I think Matt really has to try to concentrate on, uh, on going down to this guy's body, busting him up a little bit. Matt, Matt has been focusing more on the upper body. There's some low shots again by Gibbons. Low enough to hear the cup. You could hear the, the protective cup. Exactly. You could hear the, hear the squeak. Again, you're watching world-class caliber action here from the River Center. And just like that, off your ribbon, five punch combination. That's the kind of explosive combination, explosive speed and power Matt Vander can deliver at any time, any given time in a fight. It's great to be young, Otis. Beautiful body shot by Vanda. And that's that's what he's got to do more of. He's got to work the body more. And I think I think if he was working the body more. He'd probably be out of here a little bit sooner tonight, Ray. Very well, but as you mentioned and you alluded to, Otis, Gibbons holds that... Uh, Homer Gibbons ain't no punk. He's holding that belt come up. Come on, Matt! Oh, come on, referee! Homer, Homer's was, belt line two, is up here very high, that was, and he's got a very small target uh, to reach. He's got a very small target. He's fighting a little bit out of the crouch occasionally, so he's uh, got a small target. Uh, you notice uh, Matt uh, Matt Vanders uh, he's got a little blood from the nose now, which ain't really surprising, because uh, what the fuck is that? The fucking one, that motherfucker. Homer Gibbons has repeatedly hit Matt Vanda after the belt. Vanda's responded once or twice. But uh, Gibbons is doing everything sure he can Richard to rile Bones, Vanda up. Racer at Klein Auto I'll World. I'll tell you what, you know, uh, at some drive, point, the referee guess. has to take control Oldsmobile, of the fight. Oldsmobile, Suzuki, Mitsubishi, Referee's Volvo, Nissan, motorcycles, and ATVs. Referee's responsibility is to dictate how a fight's going to go. Klein, Olds, well, Mitsubishi, Suzuki. Well, I know Ron Stander Suzuki. very well. I worked with him over the years, so I guarantee you. Go down and talk to Bones about Vanda a great deal. And if Vanda would have one extra shot, Ronnie wouldn't have cared. Oh, no, no, I'm not talking he about He would have gave him that one. I'm just talking about the sustained... He's, he's warning him right there. Oh, he's taking a point away. He's taking a point away. There you go. There you go. He, he heard you, Otis. Found eight. Ron Stander doesn't want to see a riot here either. And... Uh, Homer Gibbons going through the motions, doing a little theatrics there, Otis. He's doing what he can. If this fight does go the decision, he's going to cry about uh, he was robbed. But he picked Ron Stander out of a pool of judges. Gibbons wanted an independent job. He didn't want a Minnesota judge. And uh, Stander came in from uh, Omaha, credentialed by the IBF, USBA, Used very often on ESPN. Ronnie Stander's a good referee. And uh, he took a little control right there and took a point away from Gibbon. Don't get lured into that shit. I'll tell you what, you know, it's, it's looking good right now. And I'm sorry to keep using I'll tell you what, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> you know, we're going to keep rolling with it until the wheels fall off. Hey, why not? Um, why not? This fight's got, you know, it's got quite an interesting. It's, it's 
become interesting for a couple of different reasons. One is because Homer has made this into a street fight. He also, he also is... And he's hurt right now. He just got rocked, Ray, with a left hook and a right hand. Gibbons is also doing everything he can to challenge both the referee and Vanda. Oh, exactly. I mean, and that's what you expect out of a veteran fighter. A good left hook by Vanda. I mean, Homer Gibbons ain't no punk, you know. To feel that. So he's got to hope that he can catch Vanda making a mistake. One of the ways to get a young guy, uh, a young fighter like Vanda to make a mistake is to try to cheat, to try to intimidate him, to try to pass that line. But Vanda knows better. You know, Vanda, you know, there we go again. We're talking about a young kid, he's out there, and now he's showing his legs, he's showing that movement, he's up on his toes, he's bouncing, showing a good stick. You know, those are the type of things that make world champions, Ray. These kind of fights, they're tough. You know, give us a no, like I said, he's, he, you know, he's and been the, around. And the diversity. And the, the diversity of opponents. The, the, the left hooks. Band is using uh, a whole arsenal uh, uh, of skills tonight. Uh, and like we said, Homer Gibbons is fighting good enough to win tonight. Just not good enough to beat Matt Vanda. No, he's out there. I mean, he's out there throwing combinations. He's a, obviously Homer Gibbons is a tough Aubrey too. Matt Vanda rated number eight by the USBA. Soon to be rated by every judging board. Another big round for Vanda. Don't forget coming up after this bout we have a six round matchup featuring Reggie Strickland and Grover Wiley. After the main event we do have another bout. Ray Webby and Otis Gage bringing you all the action tonight. Knocked out cold in January here. It's been a cold stream, one of the January. sponsors very nice of our snow. next round we've as well as great, the great Radisson Hotel. Far, and we've watched a great and fight and card Burnett tonight boxing. put together by Burnett's Boxing. We're here at Roy Wilkins Auditorium adjacent to the River Center. Beautiful complex that Norm Coleman built, that the Wild also built but his own tonight by Matt Vanda. Exactly. Rising nine. star becoming uh, really one of the most popular athletes on the Twin Cities horizon. He's got every bit the popularity as a Tory Hunter or as a Randy Moss. I'd like to see Randy Moss pack a house like this by his own. Oh, yeah. He's got, he's got 47 other players to help him draw. Matt Vanda is truly uh, becoming one of the Twin Cities elite. Uh, he's making visits to the hospitals. He's on the television channels. He's on the radio channels. He's becoming one of the elite athletes in the Twin Cities. And it's been a pleasure to watch him grow from his fourth or fifth fight on. Well, you know... I and, and like I said, Matt's not going to take no stuff out here. Beautiful combinations there by both men. And Vanda getting the best of Gibbons again. You know, and Gibbons, this is a Gibbons fought everybody. He's fought a who's who, too. You know, he fought Vernon Forrest three times as an amateur. He's been in with some tough people himself. You know, and it kind of shows in his experience. Absolutely. 41 wins, seven losses from Atlanta GA. Homer Gibbons, 30 knockouts to his career looking to uh, revitalize his career so he can a victory over Matt Bandit will catapult him back into world contention and uh, he wants that title back definitely wants that title back but he's not going to get it by rolling over Bandit tonight Bandit going to a southpaw stance he did that earlier uh, and that's something he generally we haven't seen out of Vanda, but I'm sure he's capable of doing that You gotta man. wonder. There's got to be a reason for this, and I will find out right after right after this fight. He's just trying to give him a new look. Maybe tiring a little bit, buying some time. Could have his hand hurt. That's generally how what happens. That's what I was thinking. Oh, you know, the, 
Hopefully there's nothing wrong with Matty, but he looks good as a southpaw as well. Oh, you know, he's beating Homer to the punch. He's being effective as long as it's working. We've seen a great card tonight this far. January 24th, uh, 2003 at the Wilkins Auditorium, put together by Burnett's Boxing. If you get a chance, if you're interested in boxing, and your sons or daughters want to get involved, anybody you know, give the Burnett's a call at 651-779-6248. It's a nonprofit organization. I'm sure you can see the uh, camera work. will show you the phone number. Uh, great place to be involved. I'll tell you what, Ray, you know, the true mark of a great right, thanks fighter to Rose Lindsay, Matt Rayburn, is a guy Joe who Nagy, comes Jerry out Hyde, Barry Schwartz, Kathy Roberts, you know, the St. Paul Radisson Hotel, Wayne Bebo, you know what I mean? Greg Weiss, Jack Hayden, Danny Jusela, I don't know if this Pat is Mad Banner's best night, Tom Huberty, but he's did Linda, more than Peter enough. Martinez, David to and win and win impressively and, all the and win against a guy who has as much experience as Homer Gibbons in and this goes to show you the great where this young kid is been. at this stage in his career and, and yeah Homer Gibbons is a former world champion folks and you hear that bantered around former this former that Homer Gibbons is in great shape this is not a guy that was a world champion uh, when you were in diapers Otis this guy was the world champion a couple of Our years ago. Our thanks to the judges, Larry ago, Goodman, Vern Sweeney, Jerry Lagarde, and Bobby Burnett, tournament fighting, uh, as well as our Forrest. referees, Mark so Nelson, Ron Stander, fighters, Jerry Lagarde, and Bobby he Burnett. Knows what it Here's takes, round and he knows number that he can't beat seven. Matt Banda. So he went to the tricks. He went to trying the elbows, the holding, the low blows, and none of it's worked. And so Hober Gibbons has to be very frustrated as well tonight. Oh, you know he is. He looked at Matt Banda's record. Oh, undefeated fighter. Oh, some young hotshot. I'll come here and beat him easy. Uh-uh. Nah, -uh. Matt Banda isn't going for it. Banda again switching up. We alluded to that a lot of times when boxers switch up, they're maybe hurt. There's it, w it was no signs of any injury uh, at the end of the round. His coaches, Tommy Burnett, didn't seem to be uh, alarmed, and so Matt just uh, may be doing something to frustrate Gibbons. Gibbons likes to keep snug with Vanda, take that power away. Exactly. Vanda is extremely powerful at long range. He's very good on the inside as well. But Gibbons feels safer close to Vanda. That's been the, the tale of, of the Gibbons story tonight. He's also done everything he can to frustrate Vanda, to try to get Vanda to lose his cool. Vanda's yet to do that. And Matt Vanda's virtually won every single round. I'm sure it'll be a shutout, 100 to 89, uh, without a doubt. You know, Ray, I gave uh, I gave Homer Gibbons the ninth round. That's just because because uh, you got to give him one here. I got to right? give him one. I got to give him one round. I tell you what. This is what it's all about right now. Man's got to go ahead this turn Gibbons out of is hurt right now, too, as he's holding up. Good. Gibbons earned that. Gibbons tried to hold on and throw Banda himself, and Banda beat him to the punch with a nice suplex. Hey, I'll tell you what. He's charged up right now, and Matt's really got to put the pressure on. Up. Good body shot by Vanda. Gibbons knows he only can retaliate with punches. Now his defense is, is not going to hold him back. He has to fight back, and it's coming to be a great round. Oh, this is a good round. Vanda landing some serious shots to the head. Gibbons holding on desperately. He doesn't want to fight anymore. He's hurt. He's off what, balance. I'm getting spit on. I'm getting every liquid in the bottle. Drink spill down the back way. This crowd is St. Paul. It's getting excited. Seven big round of applause for those fighters. An excellent fight, Homer, baby. Gibbons, and I'll tell you what. And this Matt OG is heading up the, to the ring. 
And I'll be talking with the winner of this fight very soon. I think I have a sip of my water before I head up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ray Webby and Otis Gage giving you wrestle, <laughs> WrestleMania, Vandamania. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, I mean, this guy is, uh, we mentioned earlier, Matt Vanda brings a wrestling Rolling Stones kiss concert type of atmosphere to the uh, arena. Packed out, 5,500 people. He fought a veteran tonight, Homer Gibbons, former world champion looking to get world status again and Matt Van to beat him to the punch every round Gibbons tried every trick in the book he tried to get Van to, uh, to, uh, to to roughhouse he tried to get him to wrestle he tried to get Van to lose his cool and whatever he tried was not enough to get Matt Van to standard tonight Matt Van to fought a masterful fight winning every single round in my books and we're going to see what the judges had to say. Let's let the crowd do the uh, talking. And we're going to go up in a minute and hear as Ron Stander collects the cards and turns them over to the ring announcer. Matt Gibbons and Homer Gibbons just stood toe-to-toe -to -toe in a 10-round 150-pound war. Vanda winning every round, folks, in my opinion. And uh, we're going to be going up, and Otis Cage will be talking to the winner in about 30 seconds. Let's hear what the ring announcer has to say. Ladies and gentlemen, Judge Larry Goodman scores the contest 96-94. 96-94 by Larry Goodman. 98-95. Than Jerry Lagarde, 97-93. We have a unanimous decision. The winner in the blue corner, Matt Banda. And continue your applause for Homer Gibbons. Tell you what, you know what? 